today we have a very very interesting question about Newton's third law. Now in order to illustrate the question let's imagine that we have an object of mass m which is just sitting on the ground. There are two forces acting on this object. One of them is the weight acting straight down. As you can see the weight is equal to mg. Now because the forces on this object are balanced there's also a reaction force r which is equal to the weight acting upwards so we have two forces which are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction now the first question that i would like you guys to answer is are the weight and the reaction force a newtonian force pair that is forces arising from newton's third law a is yes and B is no. So please pause this video and have a good think about this question. And the correct answer is no, they are not a Newtonian pair. The reason for that is because when we talk about Newton's third law, which says that when two objects interact, they exert equal and opposite forces on each other. We have two separate forces acting on two different objects. In the case that we looked at, we have two different forces, R and W, but they only act on one object. So this is really, really important. So they can't be a Newtonian pair. Additionally, the two forces are completely different in character. If you are a second year student, you will already know that the, uh, the weight stems from the gravitational force, which is minus gmm over r squared. And this is what provides the, uh, the, the weight, whereas the uh, normal contact force stems from the electrostatic interaction, the, uh, the electric force between the surface electrons, which are essentially repelling and producing this, uh, the, this force R. So they can't be a Newtonian pair if the forces are different in character. Um, a very interesting question that we can a very interesting question that we can ask further as well is well what is the Newtonian pair of, of the of the weight surely for every reaction there is an equal and opposite reaction as we know it from our GCSEs or um, as we know it, as we know Newton's third law from A level, when uh, two objects interact, they exert equal and opposite forces on each other. What is the second object that is interacting to produce this force due to gravity? Well, the answer is actually the Earth. So every time the Earth pulls something down, the Earth is actually pulled a little bit up by the exact same force. So whenever the Earth exerts a force onto this object, whatever that could be, it could be, uh, it could be a satellite, it could be just a pen that is in the air, is about to fall down, the Earth also exhibits, um, the Earth also is being, um, is experiencing a force in the opposite direction. The only difference is because the mass of the Earth is incredibly large, uh, so if it experiences a force F of, let's say, I don't know, 10 Newtons, but let's just be general, let's say that F is uh, some force uh, that the Earth experiences, this is going to be equal to MA, assuming that's the only unbalanced force, and the mass of the Earth is huge. In fact, the mass of the Earth is approximately 6.0 times 10 to the power of 24 kg. So um, unless we are acting on the Earth with a huge force, this, the, the acceleration will actually be negligible. 
So something as large as, uh, let's say, the moon can uh, can exhibit a um, an important force, a non-negligible force onto the Earth, but something uh, such as uh, such as an object of ordinary mass falling on Earth will hardly have any effect. Okay, folks. So hopefully Newton's third law in this example in particular makes sense. If there are any questions, please feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll be more than happy to answer. Thank you very much.